Christina and Mark. The church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with family and friends as today in the presence of God our Father you will establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May He send you help from heaven and protect you. May He grant you your heart's desires and fulfill every one of your prayers. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you today to ask for blessings for my son Mark who's about to embark a very important milestone in his life, the sacrament of holy matrimony. We just thank you for Mark um, and blessing him in our family. And we thank you for my sister and for all the miracles that you have given her in her life. Keep Mark and Christina true to their faith in you so that they will always find an unending source of strength, guidance, and love to sustain them in the years ahead. In this we pray. Amen. 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 I found you Two worlds collided I see forever in your eyes Christina is such a loving, caring, selfless person. A lot of times she, she thinks of others before herself. I feel like her, her good nature, her, her heart is what I was drawn to, what I fell in love with. He's very patient with me and he accepts me for who I am despite you know my limitations, my disabilities and he is a God-fearing man, which I love the most about him. It was just something about Christina when we started talking. She helped bring me back to God. Having Christ in the center of our relationship is really, it's very important to us. We know that um, through God anything is possible and I think that's what helped our relationship to flourish. Our marriage mission is to have a God-centered marriage that is a reflection of God's love for us. We acknowledge that our calling on earth is to uphold God's works for us as we are His servants. We pray our relationship is centered with faith, grace, love, hope, patience, and forgiveness as Christ does for us every day. We pray that our marriage will bring glory to God by manifesting Christ's love for us to each other, to our families and friends, and to the world. I, Mark, take you, Christina, to be my wife. I, Christina, take you, Mark, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. May the Lord in His kindness strengthen the consent you have both declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment His blessings within you. What God has joined, no man must separate. Today, we may not have the fanfare of Guadalupe, but in God's eyes, He shines His graces upon you today because you are faithful and true to His calling, and you are willing to meet the challenge. After five years, we're finally here, and I'm excited to share new memories with you, and looking forward to uh, calling you my wife. I love you. Mark, uh, thank you for being my best friend, and I know that this is a very special day for the both of us. And I'm sorry that your dad isn't here physically, but I know 
that he's here guiding us through our marriage, through our relationship, and that he's very proud of you and proud of the man that you've become. And we will continue to grow with his legacy from this day forward. I love you. One of her, her dreams and hopes is that when she has her wedding, she will walk down the aisle. And I think that's very powerful. Nakia kua manalo e oko mai kai e oko kamakua e keiki ka ohane humalele. Amen. I just, you know, just want to thank you for like, accepting me for who I am because, you know, after my accident, I didn't know that I'd be uh, where I am today. I pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. Whoa.
Congratulations, Tina and Mark. Woo! Let's make this baby. Hello.